The returning officer of the Edo State Governorship election, Professor Farouk Kuta, on Sunday declared Monday Opeolu of the All Progressives Congress winner of the election. Although the election has come and gone, the outcome has continued to generate reactions from a cross section of Nigerians. In Edo State, some Benin City residents said there was adequate security during accreditation and voting. They commended security agencies for the arrest of suspects involved in vote buying and electoral irregularities. It was largely um, successful and there was huge amount of votes buying by most of the political parties. There was serious vote buying in the elections. You can imagine one person getting 20,000, 15,000 or 10,000 naira to vote. Respondents in Ekboma, Edo Central, while commending INEC and security agencies for their professional conduct, harped on the need for the candidates to imbibe the spirit of sportsmanship as regards the outcome of the election. I want to commend uh, his closest driver, um, Mr. Aswe Gudalo, for his lovely statement which I read yesterday, calling people to take it easy and for them to put the mechanism to readdress the issue. But we thank God that up till now we've not had any crisis and I want to appeal to all those that are not satisfied with the conduct of the election that there are other better, there are better, good, good and better ways to address such. For me, I don't really want to subscribe that show, sure. go to court, go to court. The election was peaceful, I think have done their job and kudos to the federal government for the role they play by not uh, getting interference. In Wari, Delta State, while some respondents blame the electorate for compromising with political gladiators on vote buying and cash inducement, others scored INEC average in the conduct of the election. Almost the major political parties were buying votes, some as far as 10,000 per vote, 5,000, 7,000 in the several reports that we, we, we had right on the day of election. For you to know that INEC tried. The result, did you see anybody crying? People would throw it on the street or jubilate. In Lagos State, the respondents were divergent in their views, while the member representing Mushin Constituency 2 in Lagos State House of Assembly, Mr. Akin Soyon Nureni, said the election is a true reflection of the efforts of President Bola Tinubu to deepen democracy in Nigeria. A human rights activist, Mr. Felix Usagi, expressed a divergent opinion. Uh, we're not surprised about what happened. Some people, you know, the allies... And everyone, they will, very soon they will see what's, what is going to happen. Less than two, three months now, everything will pick up. It's still a shock to me. I cannot comprehend the kind of uh, wuru-wuru, wuru-wuru um, this thing they did. Seventeen candidates contested the September 21st, 2024 Edo State Governorship election. Ameze Bazwaye, ITV News.